<clears throat> hey guys, I want to share something really cool that I've become fascinated with, obsessed with in terms of learning and understanding more of it. So um, I did a genetic DNA test like months ago, 23andMe. That's me, Jose. That's my fucking picture. So that's how you know it's me. Um, and yeah, so it started with this, which is, um, it's part of the health and traits part of 23andMe. So you have to order ancestry and health. But yeah, so this is the muscle composition report, health report. Um, what basically this is, is twitch fibers, slow or fast twitch fibers. Um, now, if you're in a very competitive sport, for example, boxing, uh, football, um, wrestling, anything like that, that you have to be strong and explosive, then you want fast twitch muscle fibers. Slow twitch muscle fibers is more for like endurance. That could also be good for boxing because boxing needs a lot of... Um, stamina but yeah so here and let me break it down so you guys understand so there's tt and cc tt means you have two copy of the genes for slow twitch muscle fibers which would be for distance you know you're at a steady pace such and such cc would be for the fast twitch fibers which is a sprinter which means you can run super fast and you know yeah you're super fast you're explosive so i have two copies of fast switch fibers which is really good if i want to do sports you know but that's not even it that's not even why i'm making this video why i'm making this video is because i saw this video here by more plates more dates how to check if you have pro bodybuilder genetics myostatin deficiency and um after i'm done talking about it i'll slap a clip of him explaining you know this right here but yeah so it's right here and the snippet is this here this is the snippet so what this is right here it's myostatin myostatin what that is is how much muscle you can build or your body allows you to on a genetic level so yeah associated with the ability to produce peak power during muscle contractions you know shit like that now what's important about this is how rare it is to have one copy of the gene, the C, it's 7%. The more common type is 93%. So majority of the people in the world have it. <clears throat> and what this is here, self-decode, is another company like 23andMe that they do their own genetic testing, you know, the pricing. Um, so this is based on their data. 23andMe hasn't... Um, they haven't released such a thing, which is why I'm using this one. So if you go down in all populations, CC is 1.4. That is fucking crazy. So it's like extremely, extremely rare. Super, super rare. One of the strongest people in the world, he has this one, which is still rare at 11% TC. Um. So yeah, if I go here to this snippet, this is myostatin for me. This is my raw data. It's a bunch of markers, but let's go to that one specifically. So paste it and yep. So here, as you can see, going back to this right here, it's either T or C. And C is the one that's rare. And I have a C and a C for that one, which is really crazy and extremely rare if we go down here let's go back cc your genotype right so if we go back here one percent of all the people in the fucking world have this that is insane i've been telling people they don't even believe me they they think i'm lying or some shit but this is me that's me look jose flores that's my picture i actually have a video that's from a video i did Actually, I'll just show you guys here. Really interesting because this mutation in this SNP is uh, 
this is a rare mutation to begin with, just having the aging genotype. That means you have one. Theorize that some of the bodybuilders, IFBB pros and Olympia caliber competitors that you see that just have stupid amounts of muscle growth and just the hyper response to training are perhaps ones that have this nearly impossible to find GG genotype. That would be CC. This, uh, SNP. So no one in this entire bodybuilder population used in the study had the GG genotype because it's that rare significant difference just having one of those uh variants in the genotype has on muscle strength and muscle size it's you know not insignificant whatsoever it's actually very significant so you can just imagine what having GG would actually do for somebody so I actually wanted to assess uh I wanted to go all these guys are on steroids though data myself to see where so I was see at. he Obviously, he's TT to have the common which is the common one genotype and as he uh, just said you know, so, you know, companies follow their own protocols, which are all different, but 23andMe reports genotype data based on the plus strand of GRCH37. It's the same one. So when you're trying to define your, figure out what your SNP is, you kind of have to uh, flip the alleles to match from A to T, T to A, C to G, and G to C in some circumstances. So if you have 23andMe raw data and you want to go see Which what I do, I showed you guys. Is, you go to the RS1805086 SNP and it'll show your G. Yep, and just to show you guys, it's the same one. Yep, 185086. 185086. Genotype is C or T. The mine is TT. So. Once you flip that to match the uh, alleles in, you know, how this is supposed to be represented, you get, you see I'm T, so therefore I'm AA. And if you had a CC genotype, you Me. would be like the freakazoid bodybuilder yep. with the mm -hmm. C would be a GG allele. I don't even work out right now though. In this study, the rare group that has like the one polymorphism, they would be AG. So as expected, I'm AA, so probably not somebody who's going to be at the olympia anytime this soon, dude obviously all those but dudes are on steroids us. interestingly enough though, there's a lot of data <clears> to <throat> they're not natural that this uh myostatin gene does but that means you have the possibility to look like that well i don't even think i have to get into why it would regulate it but if you have something that's literally preventing you from creating myostatin which is your regulatory mechanism for deciding how much muscle you can grow if you're def like have a genetic defect that basically prevents you from having this mm. you can just theorize how much of an effect this is gonna yeah so that's basically all i wanted to make it that i pretty much i found out that i have like the rarest genetics in the world <sighs> for sports being athletic and building muscle so I've been wanting to do sports. Let me let me change this shit around. Oh, I can't. I'll be back.